Welcome to another video tutorial series with the uh, Stream 101 uh, video series here. Uh, this time we're going to be showing you how to connect your encoders to SAMcast. The process is very similar to the old uh, SAM Broadcaster software, SAM Studio, uh, SAM Broadcaster Pro. It just looks just slightly different. We're going to start off, uh, we've got the SAMcast window right here. First thing we're going to do is click on our encoders window. This will allow us to add the encoders we need to connect to the Shoutcast server uh, that you purchased from Stream 101. We'll click this little plus button here. And this now brings up the uh, different encoder options you can use. We're going to, for this demo, use the MP3 encoder option. So we press OK. This configuration screen is pretty much identical to how it looks in the uh, software version of Sam Broadcaster. So next step is to log into the Stream 101 media control panel to get all the necessary details. So we do that by going to the Stream 101 website, clicking on media panel, and then logging in. Uh, this information would have been emailed to you uh, just as we, uh, right after you purchased uh, the Stream 101 service. Once you're logged in here, we're going to head over to the quick links page and then scroll down about halfway to the live source connections. This gives you all the details you need. As you can see, the maximum bit rate is 128. Uh, so if we go back to our SAM broadcaster, or our SAM cast, excuse me, uh, that means, obviously, it's a maximum. So we're going to set it all the way up to 128, but you could do anything uh, all the way down to 8 to 128. So we pick that here. I like to start the encoder automatically after one second and auto-reconnect after one second, just in case you have a hiccup in your... Uh, your internet at your broadcast PC's location, then it would automatically reconnect uh, once, once your internet connection is restored. If we head over to the server details page, uh, this is what is very crucial we get set up properly. We need to have it on Shoutcast version one, and then we can copy and paste our server IP, our port, password, things like that right now. We go back to our Stream 101 control panel copy and paste the server host name. You can type in the server port number and our password. Uh, if you don't remember what the password is, it by default is the same password that you use to log in. But as you can see on this page, it says source password value from your stream settings. You can click that link and reset your password if necessary. Put in your station information here, your station website. This is all uh, information that would be linked on the uh, Shoutcast listing page. From here, we're pretty much set up. We just press OK. As you can see, the encoder is automatically trying to start. It says it started, but no audio detected. Now, SAMcast is used if you have an external mixer and then bring it into the computer for an encoding purpose. So uh, we don't actually have that set up there. But uh, as you can see, the encoder is started. No audio is detected but it is connected to our server and we can verify that by going to this page here if we go back to our main page you can see server status is currently online and operational the one we need to look at next to it is right here where it says audio source it has an active audio source connecting it's broadcasting audio now that's not exactly true it's not actually broadcasting any audio because we don't have anything to send it because uh, we're not actually outputting any audio at this time but um, that's the icon you want to look for. 